I want you to take it down. From where? Your truck. My truck, my flag. Some people find it offensive. What if I find them offensive? You're going to take that down? It seems to me some things are worth losing your job over, Maggie. Yeah, 4th of July's over. Take your flag down, old man. It's always 4th of July at my house. What are you going to do with that gun? Don't get out of my yard, you'll find out. And I can identify with Mr. Quinn's position on this matter. Why the hell is everybody so damn worried about losing their jobs and so little worried about losing their freedom? Yes! Good yes. statement. <laughs> Core statement. Veterans Day shows the importance of honoring our nation's veterans. And our next guest stands for the American flag in his new film, To Die For. And for that, we're going to bring in actor, filmmaker, and musician himself and star of the new movie, To Die For, John Schneider. John, welcome back. Always a pleasure to have you. Good morning. Thank you. I'm delighted to be here. And Carl, don't worry. A lot of people are going to have to learn how to use axes when their wind and solar generators <laughs> fail any day now. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's cold. All of that stuff goes out the door. Yeah. yeah, Carl's ready for it, that's for sure. Dude, I'm ready, willing, able, <laughs> maybe hoping for, I don't know. <laughs> John, you we know. want to talk about your film. Can you share the importance of Veterans Day? Absolutely. Um, when people disrespect our flag, they disrespect everyone who has sacrificed for our freedom. Yep. So that's soldiers, men and women. It's Carl, that's you. There's also people who have lost loved ones for our freedom. People who have lost limbs. So when I when I think of people who feel that it is within their rights to disrespect by taking a knee, disrespect those that no longer have knees because they gave their legs for our freedom, it just boils my blood. So my wife and I had to make this movie so that we could put this notion out there so that people could have conversations. Basically, and I've, I've thought a lot about this the last week, so that adults could talk to adult children, and I now define Republicans as adults and Democrats as adult children, as is evidenced by Nancy Pelosi ripping up the paperwork, as is evidenced by them appealing to a crowd that does not want to be responsible for their student loans, they don't want to be responsible for anything. So the Democrats have appealed to the lowest common denominator. Mm. This the appeals to people who not only appreciate those who have sacrificed for our freedom, but who also appreciate the fact that they have freedom in the first place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. Uh, you know, on Veterans Day, a lot of people, they, they well-meaning, they say, well, you know, thank you for your service. We appreciate whatever. And I, I turn around and tell people, it's a little uncomfortable for most veterans to get that, um, just because we consider part of our, you know, not something we did, but part of our soul, and, and we were should have done it no matter what. However, my response to people is, don't thank us. Be someone worth dying for. You make that point in this movie. That's wonderful. Be a, I was thinking about that. How in the world, in this day and age, under this administration, could, could a young, responsible adult be willing to go and die for what this administration currently stands for. I'm not, I don't know that I, I could do that. I could, I could certainly die for my flag. Mm -hmm. To have this commander in chief, this would be a tough, this would be a tough time to be in the military. Uh, just because of the chain of command, I think has been, has been, uh, it's kind of an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment, I just have to say it. So this movie celebrates uh, celebrates our veterans. It, celebra it celebrates patriotism. It celebrates freedom. It's pretty funny. I mean, I say things like when somebody says that you get the jab, I say oh, I wouldn't get that shot with Baldwin's arm. So you know, it's got uh, it's got some humor in it, but it also, like in that scene right there, you know, what if what if I find them offensive? Are you going to take them down? Yeah. So it goes where people are kind of afraid to go. And I've had so many, so many wonderful comments. We've been uh, we've been out since uh, October 20th. Uh, people can stream the movie at two die for movie.com or buy the DVD at two die for DVD.com. But people have sent the most wonderful, wonderful comments about the movie. And of course, you know, I have my haters out there. And that's how you know you're successful. If you're uh, if your hater and your stalker quit, then you're probably you don't have a career anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah, no, I agree. Look, I find stuff like this 
a refreshing breath on society. I am mm. so tired of the woke mob. I am offended by everything. It's like, this is America. You're free to be offended, but you're not free to tell me what I can and can't do. Well, you know what? You know what we're seeing? We're seeing the, we're seeing the result of, I'm going to go back a little ways. This is the result of the participation award. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 100%. So we have, we have a, and it's not, it's not an old guy uh, rallying against uh, uh, the young generation. They have been raised, two generations now have been raised to think that they deserve something without having to work for it. Right. That's just what, uh, what the, the, the left is playing into. Mm -hmm. I just started that because I thought, how in the world, you know, we had certainly had a red, a red wave, a red tsunami in Florida. Uh, Texas red wave in New York, thank God. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm uh, uh, my home state uh, still has the. Uh, that's where I was born, Mount Kisco, New York. Right. Westchester County, you know, where, where which apparently is a problem. I, uh, and I went to high school in Fulton County, which in Georgia, which is apparently yeah. another problem. It's me. Maybe John, it's me. John, <laughs> I, we're up against a break, but I love having you on, man. You are you are one of my favorite guests I've ever had on TV. I appreciate you standing up and making this movie. It is awesome. I appreciate your viewpoints. Thing in that act. All right. Do God bless you. God bless America. Thank you, veterans. Thanks, Thanks John. John.